In League of Legends, a player's skill level in ranked games can be represented by their elo. One of the benefits of the elo system is that a player will gain or lose more elo based on how high or low their opponent's elo is when compared to theirs. In today's episode of Wall Math, we'll be taking a look at the formulas used to increase and decrease a League of Legends player's elo. First, let's take a look at how the increase or decrease in elo is calculated after a match. There are two values used when calculating an elo change after a game. However, it is somewhat unclear exactly how these values are determined. It seems likely that the first value is the player's elo, and the second value is the average of the enemy team's elo. We'll call these values elo A and elo B. Elo A representing the player's elo, and elo B representing the enemy team's average elo. The next value calculated is the expected victory outcome for player A. We'll just abbreviate it to EXA. This value is used to determine the percentage-based chances of the player with elo A winning, based on the two elo values. The formula used is as follows. 1 divided by 1 plus 10 to the power of elo B minus elo A divided by 400. This equation will result in a value between 0 and 1, which can then be used to determine the odds of player A winning. Let's use a quick example so we can assign a value to EXA. If a player's elo is 1300 and the enemy team's average elo is 1320, the expected victory outcome for player A is around 0.47. Meaning, according to the ELO system, the odds of player A winning are about 47%. If one wanted to calculate the expected victory outcome of the other player, or team in this case, they would simply modify the formula so that ELO B is being subtracted from ELO A instead. Now that we've calculated the expected victory outcome of player A, we'll see exactly how it is used to calculate ELO gain and loss. In the case of a win, a player's ELO will be equal to their ELO plus K, which is a value that we'll go over momentarily, multiplied by 2 minus the expected victory outcome. Before we get into what this equation means, we'll need to go over the point of the k value. In the standard ELO system, the k value is used to change the amount of ELO gained or lost depending on certain variables. Unfortunately, the way the value of k is determined has not yet been discovered. Many community members have estimated the value of k is around 60 during a player's first rank game and gradually drops to 25 over the course of several games. However, this is yet to be confirmed. Since the way the value of k is determined has yet to be confirmed, we essentially cannot have a complete example. As unfortunate as that is, we can still move on and quickly go over the formula used for a loss. In the case of a loss, the player's elo will be equal to their elo minus k multiplied by 2 minus the expected victory outcome. So, while there are still a few mysteries surrounding how League of Legends elo is calculated, hopefully these formulas help shed some light on what we do know. This episode of Law Math was brought to you by KillSteelGaming.com. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Law Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Law Math video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.